Good morning, everybody, on this Friday, July 12th. And I am heading into the office, not because I want to, but because I have to. <laughs> um, I don't have anything on my calendar for today, at least as of right now. I have nothing on my calendar for today. And they're finally redoing the road over here. They've got it all tore up so that they can repave it, which is fantastic because that road is atrocious. Anyway, um, I need to go in for my one day for this week. Next week it'll be Friday as well. I have nothing on my calendar today, which is fantastic. I want to get those <coughs> excuse me, interviews scheduled. I would like to work a little bit on a training class and I would also like to get through more emails. Hopefully there's not a lot going on today so I can get through more emails than I have been able to. I mean, I've been getting through quite a bit of them. The problem is, is that as I'm trying to get through old emails, new emails are coming in. So there's that. Um, I am gonna be trying to get, um, well, here's the problem with setting up interviews. I need three panel members. I have myself and one of my employees and I still need one more and it's supposed to be outside of like my direct program office and I don't have any other, I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody, is that sad? Um, I just don't, don't know anybody because I haven't been there that long. I mean, I could get somebody outside of the IT area because I know all my customers, but I can't get anybody, like I don't know anybody else within the IT realm um, that can do an interview with me, so. Anyway, uh, driving into work today, nothing too exciting. Um, I pulled out in front of this minivan and they were pretty far back when I pulled out, but they seemed quite upset that I pulled out in front of them because they're, you can't see it because of the lighting, but they're quite far behind me. Um, worried about Buttercup, she's been hiding. Um, now John said he found online that if a dog is in pain, their eyes don't dilate the same, so they like to be in like dark areas. So she's been hiding in the boys' bathroom because there's no windows in there. I think in our entire first floor of our house, except for my closet, the master closet, the only room that doesn't have a window is the boys' bathroom. So she's been hiding in there. Um, she was in there this morning. She would, unless we picked her up and moved her out, she wouldn't come out. So I am very worried about her. John said he's going to call the vet later on today and just say, hey, this is what's going on. Should we bring her in? Should we do something else? Like, what would your recommendation be? Knowing it's the vet and they need to make money, they'll probably be like, well, bring her in so we can do a checkup, which I'm okay with as long as, you know, I mean, I have no problems spending whatever money it is to keep my family safe and happy and secure and my dog is a member of my family. Um, so, I am happy it's Friday. It's the favorite day of the week in our house. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down. I'm about to get on the highway and I will see you guys later today. Bye. Well y'all, it is 6.30, 6.40 technically. If I wanna be specific, it's 6.37. Anyway, we just finished dinner. We made keto lasagna. I'm gonna show you, we had some leftover. It was very, very filling. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you. Half the container is actually like intact pieces. The other half is a piece that fell apart and just kind of went everywhere. So I'm gonna turn the camera on and show it to you. So this is what it looks like. There obviously is the fully formed pieces and then that is the one that just fell apart and made a big mess but it tasted really good <laughs> um and yes i said keto lasagna i will try to remember to link the video that gave us the idea down in the description bar below because i know like i know um beth you're doing low carb if not keto but low carb so <clears throat> I will link that below. Basically, you make a noodle out of lunch meat and and like sliced cheese. And that makes your noodle. So, tasted pretty good. And I don't think it, like we used turkey and provolone. I think I was telling you about this yesterday. We used turkey and provolone. Buttercup once 
a bite. I'm gonna tell you what happened to Buttercup this morning in a second, but we used turkey, uh, sliced turkey and provolone, and it turned out really good. It actually had a really nice flavor to it. Um, John seasoned the hamburger because we used like hamburger and sauce. Um, it turned out pretty good. If for some reason I don't link it, you can search high fat, high fun lasagna and the video will come up. <clears throat> anyway, he did an Alfredo pasta or an Alfredo uh, lasagna and I, we did a marinara lasagna. So, this morning, I think the last time I talked to you guys I was in the car driving to work. I did not make it to work because my girl Butter, I'm going to turn the camera around again and show you Buttercup. So, so there she is. She's sitting on the little blanket over there. But if you can see, there on her paw, she has a bandage. Now she's looking at her other paw. <laughs> so just as I was getting, right before I got on the highway, like, I turned off the camera and I was just about to get on the highway. I was getting on the on-ramp to the highway. Um, John texts me and says, Buttercup is shaking. I called the vet. We're taking her in. And I was like, but <laughs> Nick has his doctor's appointment at nine o'clock. Oh. He's like, don't worry, I'll take care of it. So I'm driving to work and it's 8.30, it's 8.25 ish. And he's like, I'm still at the vet. This is what they're doing. L long story short for Buttercup, they ended up trimming her nail more giving her pain uh, pain shot, giving her a couple other immunization shots while, while they were there, and then um, giving John pills to take with him at home, and then wrapping her paw up so that she wouldn't like get any sort of stuff in it anywhere, anyhow. Um, <clears throat> she was in a lot of pain though, um, a lot of pain. I don't wanna go into too much detail what happened at the vet, but anyway, long story short, I turned around and came home, and I took Nick to the vet, to the doctors. What's up? Nothing. I want to take a picture. Oh, I think we're gonna skip it. We'll do it tomorrow during the day if that's okay. Okay. Like after we get back from the pool, if we're going to the pool. Sure. Okay. Um, so I I took Nick to the doctor. Ended up taking a couple of hours Sorry. off work this morning. Thank you for that. Ended up taking a couple of hours off work this morning and I just worked from home the rest of the day. So I'm gonna go into the office on Tuesday and Friday of next week to get my two days in the office. So anyhow, <clears throat> doctor's visit went okay. The doctor said that Nick needs to start being more careful with what he eats and he needs to start eating more vegetables and fruits and less pasta and bread. I was surprised to hear the doctor say that. Like she didn't say go low carb, but she said stop. Basically she was like, eat less processed food, <laughs> pretty much. Wow. Um, eat more, um, eat more fruits and vegetables, eat more. She even said eat a little bit more dairy cause he's not eating a bunch of dairy either. Um, <clears throat> you know I did. So did. for dinner, he did not eat the lasagna because Nicholas does not like melted cheese. He does not like the texture of melted cheese. So Nick ate eggs, uh, Duke's beef jerky, and uh, ch uh, two pieces of cheese. So that's what he ended up eating. I ate way too much. I probably ate about a thousand calories for dinner. Um, I had a piece and a half of that. What did I just do? Um, I had about a piece and a half of the lasagna, which was probably about 900 oh, yeah. calories ish, somewhere in there. I haven't put it in my app. I'm afraid to put it in the app, to be honest with you. Um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> I probably ate about 900 calories just with a piece and a half of the lasagna, and it, I, it's filling. I could have stopped after one piece, but it tasted really good. Um, and then I had a serving of my Lolly's granola. And then I actually picked up, last night when we were at Walmart, I picked up the Great Value brand sugar-free whipped cream. And the Great Value brand of sugar-free whipped cream is zero carbs. So, John's drinking a beer. Is John drinking? 
Anyway, so I got the granola and I put a little bit of whipped cream on top and I had dessert. So I had about 900 calories with the, the uh, lasagna and then I probably ate, I forget how many calories the, the granola is. I think it might be 110, I think. And then I probably had a serving of whipped cream on top. So probably another 130 calories. So I probably ate just over a thousand calories, like a thousand to 1100 calories somewhere in there for dinner. And I did not have that many calories left in my day. So I am really feeling full. I've not eaten this many calories in a lot, um, in a while. So I had 650 calories left over for today. So I probably, I probably ate somewhere around 2100 calories today. It's not the end of the world. It's okay. I'll probably be up a little bit weight wise tomorrow, but it's fine. Uh, it's 6.45 now. I think I'm gonna go on a Pokemon run, whether the boys come with me or not. I think I'm gonna do that because I honestly, I'm gonna go get a lottery ticket. But. And also I need to get me a one spinner and one Pokemon. No. A what? Oh, your Pokemon. So I wanna go get a lottery ticket and um, get Nick his Pokemon run done. Um, Ooh. Neil, I think, didn't Neil say he was leaving at 7? So Neil's going to go at 7, uh, going out with friends. He's trying to get together some, um, plans, but his friends are being, uh, aloof. So, anyway, I'm going to put the camera down. I'm probably going to go for a drive, and then we're going to come home and probably edit yesterday's vlog and maybe I don't know what else I didn't do my shop with me video yet I haven't filmed the shop with me video yet maybe that's what I should go do is go shopping at Marshall's and film that because tomorrow I think we're gonna go to the pool in the morning I'm not 100% certain on that but I think we might so we might go to the pool and then John's gonna take my picture in the summer line of Nimini's which it's not a lot. I think it's four, five, six, seven, like eight or nine things. So it's not it's not a ton. We we bought less clothes this time around. Um, I got to talk to my sister tomorrow though because we're probably gonna like mark all the winter stuff down. I think we marked we marked it down like already once, but I think we're gonna mark it down more. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna mark it down more uh, to try to sell some of the the winter stuff, but. Um, the summer stuff, of course, because it doesn't cost us as much, is going to cost less. Um, anyway, long story short, we're going to be doing some mini stuff tomorrow, but I'm not going to my sister's house until about, I'm probably going to leave here around 6 o'clock tomorrow night, so. So lots of the mini stuff tomorrow, so. But that's not until later in the day, so I think we're going to go to the pool in the morning, well, 11, because that's when the pool opens, and then we'll come home and shower. John will take my pictures. Um, John will take my pictures, and then... Uh, maybe we'll, I'll pack the stuff up and go to Marshall's and, um, on my, like, on my way to my sister's house. Maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know. Anyway, I've been rambling for far too long. I'm gonna put the camera down. I will see you guys later. Well, y'all, I am tired and it is 9.45. So we're gonna go to bed soon, but... I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys. We ended up just sitting around and talking tonight. So I didn't get yesterday's vlog edited. Um, we played Would You Rather. Nick, John, and I played Would You Rather. And we were th saying things like, would you rather have cats for the rest of your life or dogs for the rest of your life? <laughs> What'd you say, Nick? Not saying nice. Nick said dogs. Anyway. <laughs> I'm real tired and I know I've been talking a lot today so I'm just gonna wrap it up real quick and say that today I am thankful that we got Buttercup to the doctor and we got Nicholas to the doctor and everybody's gonna be okay that's what I'm thankful for today so I hope today was better than yesterday and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today I hope you are having a great day and I will see you tomorrow bye guys